evolutionary psychologist, or at least he likes to refer to himself as an evolutionary psychologist, Satoshi Kanazawa has come out with more controversial work. If you guys know anything about him, in the past he was uh, banned from writing in Psychology Today because he wrote a piece titled, Why Are Black Women Less Physically Attractive Than Other Women? Oh, okay. So he's a classy dude. Mm -hmm. uh, recently he wrote a book called The Intelligence Paradox where uh, he has a chapter dedicated to reproduction. And he talks about how some studies indicate that women are less likely to have maternal instincts the more intelligent they are. In fact, he states that uh, for every 15 IQ points a woman has, her desire to be a mother decreases by 25%. What now, an awesome made up number. I know. <laughs> what, based on what? Okay, so I don't even want to harp on that so much. I, I want to harp on the fact that she, he considers that a great paradox. Mm. And the reason why he mm. thinks that's such a great paradox is because women, the whole purpose of women, according to him, is to reproduce. And if you don't reproduce, you're an idiot. <laughs> so how is it that these idiots could have high IQs? He literally says that. Okay, <laughs> that is what he says in that book. And it's, it's amazing that he thinks that way. And it's amazing that he cares so much. So I want to read you uh, what he wrote specifically so you guys get a sense of what his uh, values are. If any value is deeply evolutionarily familiar, it is reproductive success. If any value is truly unnatural, if there is one thing that humans and all other species in nature are decisively not designed for, it's voluntary childlessness. All living organisms in nature, including humans, are evolutionarily designed to reproduce. Reproductive success is the ultimate end of all biological existence. This reminds me of the dude. That's kind of your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's so stupid. First of all, the, there's a mechanism in which we are designed to reproduce. It's called sex. Mm -hmm. And that's why the orgasm feels pretty freaking good. But hey, you know what, Mr. Kanazawa. Kanazawa? We figured out how to have an orgasm without necessarily having the kids, okay? Now, of course, there's other evolutionary things that are hardwired into our body to make us love the kids. Now, aren't they really cute, et cetera, right? But, not everybody's hardwired the same way. With all these people who make these like arguments based on what is natural, I will tell you what is natural. There's no gays in nature, except for all the gays in nature. Okay, yeah. like how do you explain that? They're in nature, you must have uh, reproduction, so that's why all the people who are not having reproduction are what? Not in nature? I just that makes no sense. I just hate the unnecessary judgment when people live their lives the way they want to live their lives and it has absolutely no negative impact on your life. So for Shatoshi Kanazawa, what does it matter if, if some woman or some couple decides that they want to remain childless? I think that it's much more selfish to force yourself to have a family when you don't want to have a family or if you don't have the means to raise that family than to just decide, you know what, having a family is not for me and I am going to uh, avoid doing it. Now Tucker Carlson on Fox and Friends uh, said something that I thought was hilarious. I want to read you his quote. He says, having children means less time for vacations and spin class uh, where the real meaning in life resides, right? I mean, have you ever seen anything more selfish, decadent, and stupid? Just shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. yeah, some people would rather go to spin class. Who cares? Why does it matter to you? I, I feel like some people who do have children and then go off and they judge others who don't have children are like randomly bitter and jealous. Super. Right? I know. Look, like, I, I got oh, you like your spin class? Well, I had a really great time taking care of my crying infant. Yeah, like a three <laughs> to four slash five in the morning. I did, I did. Okay, look, I got kids. I love my kids. I got no problem taking care of them. I don't think like, oh, I guess you get to watch football and that's what you want to do. You just want to be selfish and have a good time and hang out with your buddies and play poker, huh? Because I'm not bitter. Mm -hmm. Like if you're saying that stuff, like why do you care about somebody else's life? If it doesn't affect you, why do you care? Why don't you tuck off? Oh yeah. Okay? And by the way, this so-called researcher, Satoshi Kanazawa that we started with, his book is, quote, why intelligent people are the ultimate losers in life. Now he just wants, he wants attention. By the way, he's been shunned by the science community. Like, researchers don't like him. Like I said, he got um, banned from psychology today because of some of the crazy things that he's written. So, I mean, obviously take what he says with a grain of salt. But just going back to uh, the claim that intelligent or smart women are less likely to want to have kids, the reason why is because now they have, I mean, now more than ever, women have 
certain financial independence and the smarter you are the more you want to take advantage of your opportunities in your career so yeah you might decide I don't want to have kids like if you want to write an article or, or a piece on that then there's some legitimacy to that but then to say that it's a great paradox because deciding not to have children makes you stupid I mean of course that's controversial and, and, and that in and of itself is stupid right so you have more options and when you have more options people are going to exercise different options Definitely. it's perfectly normal and understandable and you're right and the great irony here is this is the dumbest guy alive because he takes whatever his perspective is and applies it to everyone else I love kids they drive me I think they're awesome why don't you love kids what's wrong with you I don't like black chicks so black chicks must be ugly <laughs> look it's okay if you're not into black women but then to write a so-called science you know research article on how they're empirically less attractive is really the dumbest thing I've ever heard